the reason we do this is because of the people in their homes being treated and the people in the beds being mm. treated. Um, when you keep your focus on that, this is why we're doing it, whether you're selling something in a shop or cycling 100 miles, mm. that's why we're doing it. And I think to remind people and to encourage them mm. and show them that value, isn't it, really? I think it's when you meet people who have really had a wonderful experience with the hospice. They're still very sad that death has happened, but they, they've seen it in the best possible way. We met a man at the Tree of Love on Christmas Day, we met him. We just popped him half out, didn't we? Mm. He was an elderly man, probably my age, mm. your age. And, um, he, I said, let's, let's leave him because he, he, he's thinking of his wife because Maureen insisted on speaking to him and he was so glad you spoke to him mm -hmm. and we spoke to him. And as we left him, I said, the hospice really looked after your wife, didn't they? Like, yes, he's... Then he says, no, me as well. People say, oh, I, couldn't, I couldn't work in the hospice. Mm. It, the thought of it frightens me. Mm. Well, no. It doesn't because everything's so positive and the nurses are just so special. Mm -hmm. They're really <coughs> committed to what they're doing and it's lovely.